Hey guys, Shadow here. Um, sorry, I uh, wanted to kind of give you guys an update. I know I just kind of was able to record a video last night and get it posted finally this morning. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know that while I was waiting for that video to post, um, I got a call from my mom's nurse making sure that I got the letter and heavily, heavily pushing the fact that she wants me to move up north to take care of my mom because they don't, they're not happy with the fact that my step siblings, which is my mom's deceased husband's kids, are not helping with anything. So they basically are telling me that they want me to move up north and it's more of a, uh, a demand really. Yes, I know I'm messing with my face. I apologize. But it's one of those that they're not happy with what's going on and everything. They basically are pushing heavily, heavily on me moving back up to back up north. So I'm not exactly sure what's all going down. I have to talk to the people that I deal with for my finances. I have to then also talk to my landlord. I have to talk to um, other people that I have to pay bills for <laughs> and stuff. Um, sorry. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do, especially since now the nurses have, well, the nurse, I should say, has basically said, yeah, you know what? No, y you gotta come back. You have to. We sent that letter. Yeah, it's a generic letter, but we were trying to put as much emphasis on it as possible because we want you to come back because she needs to be taken care of. This shit needs to get done. Uh, because they really want somebody there while she's taking the chemo pills. They want... um. Not only that, but they also want somebody there so they can actually get her started on the uh, PIC line. And the PIC line is um, a chemotherapy kind of um, IV thing where they actually have to surgically implant it into my mom's heart. So, and they, it's like, you know, we want to do this. We feel it's needed you need to come up because there's no way that anybody else can take care of her since they're all basically saying, well, huh, yeah, we'll, we'll say sweet things and then we'll just not do it. So I, I'm still stuck kind of in a little bit of a dilemma on that. Um, so, whoops, sorry. Um, so yeah, I, I pretty much have to basically go, well, do I stay or do I go and be the responsible child and unfortunately hurt, sadly, a lot of people by leaving? But it's one of those that I can always come back. I will have a way to do that at some point. Aya, you're such a silly goose. What are you chewing on? What are you chewing on? Yeah. Anyways, sorry. Um... Which also means that I have to talk to somebody about taking Aya. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I, I was not wanting to hack while... Um, well, because I kind of burped something up and ugh, it, it burned and hurt and didn't want you guys witnessing that. Um, but yeah, it's... One of those that now it comes down to, do I ha do I go and unfortunately hurt people's some people's feelings? But unfortunately, I have to go because it's my mother. Because for those who do know me personally, that where I who've known me while I've been living here, and even before that, I don't want to leave because I'm trying to do everything I can to make it. And to do everything I can to 
prove myself, not only to people down here, but to myself. And it's one of those that, you know, it. I was actually told by the nurse that me having to go back up north to take care of my mom, it, it doesn't mean that I've failed at trying to make it on my own down here. But it's one of those as a necessity for me to take care of my mom and do everything that I need to. So, yeah. Um, sorry, I, as I said, I'm kind of fidgety and everything. Um, so I'm probably going to have to, unfortunately, go up north. I have to, though, talk to the people that I deal with with my money like my money situation and everything and I have to talk to like my landlord I have to talk to the people that um I have to pay bills to down here and go listen sorry here's my letter this is what happened I have to go I have to do this it's as I said I'm the only one that seems to be fucking responsible for this excuse my language yes I'm going to be cussing because it pisses me off Sorry, that little blur of a thing was me throwing Aya's toy. Um, but it's one of those that uh, anytime it came to my mom and something medical, I was the only one who did do anything. And yes, I am an only child. But it's, yeah, I, I'm the only one who's been responsible with it. I, every time she had surgery... I, and after her and my dad had divorced, I was the one taking care of the bandage changing. This last surgery, I didn't do it because I was already down here. So, yeah, I kind of couldn't do it. But I mean, it, I've seen so many different bandage change type things for my mother that, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry, um, that I, what, 13, 14 different ways I know how to bandage. <laughs> I don't like that fact. I, I don't like the fact that I know that and I can literally look at some nurses and go, uh, no, you're doing it wrong. I, I, I don't like doing that. I, Aya, you do not chew. You do not chew on that. Arr, no, no. No. Anyways, sorry. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm the one who has to be the responsible one and take care of her since... I've done it pretty much my whole life anyways. So it's one of those that comes down to, well, do I hurt people's feelings and have to go and take care of my mom? Or do I literally look at the doctors and the nurses at my mom's cancer clinic and go, I'm sick and tired of being the one being responsible. I'm sick and tired of being the one who has to do this. Why do I have to do this? Why can't you do something about it yourselves? I mean, it comes to, as I said, those two decisions. And, Aya! Silly girl. Um, yeah, it, it comes to, yeah, those things where... Do I just say, you know what, fuck it. I Be the responsible one and go up north and move back up north and take care of her? Or do I just stay down here and go, fuck all of you, I'm doing my own thing. I, it's one of those it's kind of hard to say that because of everything but then again I don't know what all can happen if I choose the second one and because they wouldn't tell me her chances of like that her chances of getting the cancer back if she didn't take the medicine they just made it sound really imperative that I have to come back. I have to come back and take care of her. I have to be the one to be the responsible and I have to be the one to do this. And it, I, I yeah. It, so I, it's kind of looking more like where I'm most likely going to have to go up north, but I'm going to do everything I can before I leave to Make the people that I've become friends with or make the people that I'm, I was already friends with uh, before moving down here, make them understand that I still love them. I'm not leaving because of them. I'm not leaving because of the situation. Because as I said, if I do leave, 
I'm going to do everything in my power to say, listen, it's not you guys. It's not this situation. It's basically my mom. I have, I, I'm the responsible one. And as I said, there's times I hate being the responsible one. I hate being the one that goes, okay, well, shit, fine. I, I'm going to have to do this. So, yeah, I, I honestly don't know. Um, I, I, as I said, it's getting closer to the point of I'm probably going to have to make the decision to go up north because they're really making it very imperative for me to go up north and saying, listen, you kind of have to do this. We can't just sit around and let you wait. I mean, they, the nurse was really, really insistent. And I, I mean, it's one of those that when somebody in the medical professional field basically gets very insistent on something, that's when you have to go, oh shit. Um, okay, what are my priorities again? <coughs> Excuse me. So it, it's most likely where I'm going to have to go up north. But if that, um, if that, uh, does happen, as I said, the people who are here that I know, I'm going to make sure they know that it's not because of them. It's not because of where I've been living. It's not because of any other situations of down here. It just, I have to go up there because I have to take care of my mom. It's a medical necessity. So, yeah, once I find out full details of what I'm going to do and what I can do, um, I will update you guys and make sure you all know what's going on. Um, thanks, everybody, on Twitter for being so good and kind to me. Um, thank every I want to thank everybody who's followed me over there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um... I want to thank everybody who subbed me for this and understanding. Um, it's just, yeah, it's trying to start out being a YouTuber from the bottom and going through all this stuff kind of sucks. But at least I'm trying. And you guys can see me trying. So, alright. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. See you on the light side of the moon. And as always, you'll see me in my next video. And yes, I'm wearing a headset thing to make it easier so you guys could possibly hear me better. All right. Love you guys. Bye.